about to step up. You want 17 birds? Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. In my line, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. Yeah, I'm from the 17th curb. Yeah. It's all about the details. <laughs> you already know that. The Ski Mask Howie shirts are out. You know what I mean? This was a New Orleans inspired throwback cash money album cover. You know what I'm saying? No limit album cover. Ski Mask Howie, the best general manager in the game. Right in time for the draft. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. You know where to go to get all your merchandise needs fulfilled. Big print champs, hurt season hats, the truckers going crazy now, you know what I mean, a little cooler for the top for your head, top, pon the head, top, little cooler, you know what I mean, for the summertime, so tap in, man, DM me for cold hats, Gra listen, I'm about to take over the graphic tee game, you know what I mean, the, the, the 22 bird shirt, the ski mask, how we graphic tee, you already know the vibes and how we coming, man. That's just what we do. Excellence. So let's get into the meat and potatoes. The Philadelphia Eagles. Um, well, not even the Philadelphia Eagles. This this is more about Jalen Carter. You know what I mean? We were the first visit for Jalen Carter. Um, it makes sense for the Philadelphia Eagles. But if you want me to keep it all the way solid, all the way 100, man. This Jalen Carter thing is kind of, it's, it's just kind of being too much for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, the kid ain't guilty. You know what I mean? Everybody knows that. The closer and closer we get the draft, now they're releasing body cam footage of him saying he wasn't racing. whoop de doo You caught a college kid lying to the cops about something. It's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. It just seemed like the red flags are waving harder and harder in terms of saying don't draft this guy because it could be some type of issue there. But then I will say this. The Philadelphia Eagles are one of the only teams that got the mentorship and the guys in the building that could get him through anything that he going through. Fletcher Cox still being there. BG. Jordan Davis. Those guys played in Bama before. Nicobe Dean, who's going to be probably uh, the green dot for this organization. Like it, It's making sense as to why he should be a Philadelphia Eagles. So I'm not opposed to it from that standpoint. But, you know, reportedly it's been said that he won't even take visits for teams who aren't in the top 10. Talk about a guy hurting his stock. You know what I mean? Talk about a guy hurting his stock, in my opinion, man. His his agent and him have announced that they will not be taking any visits for teams that are slated to draft outside of the top 10. That don't mean you're going to slide past the top 10. That doesn't mean that, man. As you know, some reports last week came out. That, you know, a couple teams took him off their draft board who were high picks. I think the Jets. Was it the Jets? A lot of teams took him off their draft board or two teams or whatever the case may be. And, and, and I'm just like, teams are already showing interest. In my opinion, you know what I mean? You're doing things to, you know, make yourself not look like the most ple pleasing guy to be around. But we all know looks can be, you know, uh, none of that stuff really can be what it is, man. It could be just, you know, his team doing what they think is best for him. But, you know... If he had 10, I'm taking him. I'm taking him at 10 if he's there. I think I think getting a defensive tackle in this year's draft is more important than getting a cornerback. Um, safety is up there for sure. There aren't many linebackers who I would take in the first 15 or anything like that. Most of the linebackers that I like, I know they're going to be around in like the third round or something like that. But, um, yeah, if I'm the Philadelphia Eagles and he's there, he's better than uh, Kansi. And Kansi's a dog. He's better than Kalaja Kansi in my opinion. But, you know, um, Jalen Carter, if he's there at 10, the Philadelphia Eagles, that's a Philadelphia Eagles pick. That is a Philadelphia Eagles pick. I'm telling you. It's a Philadelphia Eagles pick. You know what I mean? I know you still got Milton Williams. Maybe we thinking about it from a depth standpoint. But if Jalen Carter is there at 10, I do not see the Philadelphia Eagles letting him go anywhere else. I don't let him see it. Like he's, he screamed. The, the talent screams generational. You know what I mean? From what we've seen, it screams generational. Man, He's not the first guy to have some off-the-field stuff going on prior to the draft. And he won't be the last. So I'm not really worrying about anything. Listen, the mistakes a kid make or the mistakes a young adult make, we can't hold them guys to the fire. We can't really do that to some of these young guys, man. And I think it's unfair that this happens to some of these kids, man. Because I made mistakes as a child. You know what I mean? I made mistakes as a young adult. People make mistakes. 
You know what I mean? You're not, you're not, you, you really don't know who you are until you hit about 27, 28, and, and you really don't know the real meaning of life and, and opportunities that you get. And so, you know, these guys are going through learning experiences, and we're holding them to, you know, standards of people. Listen, how are you going to hold him to a standard? But but you got reality TV stars becoming presidents. You see what I'm saying? That's the that's the stuff that, you know, that I don't really like or I don't really agree with. Not to say that that's a bad thing or he was unqualified for that, but you know what I'm saying? He's qualified to play football. He's young. He's a kid. Let the mistakes happen, man. Everybody makes mistakes. Even people who are appointed to the highest offices of the of the of the world. They make mistakes. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm not I'm not worried about any off the field issues in terms of in terms of him becoming a Philadelphia Eagle. But it's interesting to not take, you know what I mean, visits from teams who are outside of the top 10. I don't really like that. I don't I don't I don't like that approach. You know what I mean? It, it, it says things without saying things like you can't guarantee. Listen, by you saying stuff like that, everybody in the top 10 could show you something. That, listen. If, if it's one thing we don't know about the NFL, they'll show you better than they can tell you. Look at what Lamar Lamar's going through. Look what Lamar's going through. You you going to demand something? No, we're going to show you better than we could tell you. And they're going to show him better than they could tell him. And he already starting off on the wrong foot. So secure yourself. Secure yourself in the National Football League before you start trying to call shots like you're already in the National Football League. That will be my message to that. But if he had 10, he's going to be a Philadelphia Eagle. I'm telling you, Howie Roseman ain't letting that dude go past if he had 10. It's a golden opportunity to set that front up for years and years and years to come. You know what I mean? Like, I expect if he at 10, the Eagles going to go for it. If he not at 10, Justin Simmons could be traded for one of them picks if you're the Philadelphia Eagles. You know what I mean? I fully expect something like that to happen, but it's all about what the Eagles do and how Howie Roseman going to approach the situation. Now, um, Slay had a real interesting tweet today, man. Uh, shout out Slay, man. You know, Slay not Slay not feeling how the how the Philadelphia reporters are, are doing their job. You know what I mean? So in true Philadelphia Eagles content creation, you know what I mean? A bunch of the Eagles content creators said, listen, come on, come on down. Like the real stuff happens at this level for real, for real. The real people that got the air of the streets are at this level, this YouTube level, this underground reporting. I would absolutely love to have Slay on the channel so we could talk about the offseason and talk about how things mature from his perspective. So if y'all could do me this one favor, I never asked off for nothing go on twitter big play slay and tell slay let's talk slay and lb small 15 minutes we're gonna talk about it man i think we can make some stuff happen listen y'all saw listen y'all saw the other stuff we made happen y'all seen that you know what i mean the, the hurt season hats all over the world on aj brown head y'all seen that i mean it's the power we could do man we could get some great content to slay you know what i mean and you know we get we, we you know we can make some magic this off season i really feel like that that's a strong possibility because slay definitely got his ear to the streets and what's going on out here so yeah man um shout out to all the content creators shout out to all the supporters we are climbing real real close to twenty five thousand subscribers that's a milestone that i've wanted for a while for this channel and we're gonna continue to grow man so shout out to y'all for being a part of the community shout out to y'all for being a part of the youtube community in general man i don't want nothing that you got i don't want y'all to think that nothing that y'all do goes unnoticed man the support that you give to content creators with the likes and the subs it all just takes us to another level and we do this stuff for y'all so shout out to y'all man and big print chairs man if you want to order anything, hats, graphic tees, anything of that nature, make sure you DM me and I'll give you a discount code, man. Let's get it. While supplies last.